Hi, my name is Jim Persky and I'm with Boss Industries. I'm here at the Huntington Beach Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store to talk about this truck. This is a unique vehicle that um, at first glance you wouldn't realize what it's equipped with, but what this truck has is an air compressor capable of 185 cubic feet per minute. In layman's terms, that's a compressor that, that can drive two 90 pound jackhammers. It also has a 10,000 watt generator. Um, again, no extra equipment is mounted above deck. All of this equipment is mounted under deck. Talking about the truck a little bit, what's unique to the Ram versus its competition in this class is the fact that it's got what they call J1939 electronics. That allows the Boss BCAN electronic system to seamlessly communicate with the engine control module and actually have this engine deliver whatever RPM I'm looking for to deliver the right amount of air to the customer's tool. Another thing I'll point out is that a typical compressor that would replace this would require at least four feet of bed space and 2,000 pounds of extra weight. The generator would add another 500 pounds and actually require extra fuel to be carried. So what this truck does is it does all that work without having all that space taken, carrying tools, having your hitch available for other equipment, and allowing this truck to do some serious work. So you can see there's tons of storage with this truck. As I mentioned, the air compressor system has what we call a BCAN electronic control module. That's this little module right here. It's actually a small computer that actually delivers seamless communication right to the truck engine. When the truck's up and running, you just push one button and you got 185 CFM of air at your fingertips. If you need to add the generator, you add one more button and boom, you got 10,000 watts of electricity. So the kind of tools we're talking about here are jackhammers, rock drills, underground boring tools, you name it, whatever pneumatics you, you require, this thing can easily handle it. As far as the generator capabilities, you could actually plug in a, a suitcase welder to this truck. Uh, so it could weld. You've got AC power for lighting and, and, any, and any other AC type electronics that you need to run. Kind of working our way around the vehicle, you'll notice it's got convenient storage for those 90 pound jackhammers, which are pretty heavy, but it allows your customers to easily grab the, uh, the tools, get them back here, connect them to your hose reel, and you're all set. Now, some unique features that we've added into the system would be this filter lubricator regulator. That actually filters out any moisture that gets trapped in the system before it reaches the tool, keeping that tool uh, performing for a long, long time. It also has a lubricator, which also injects a little bit of lubrication into the tool so it doesn't wear out prematurely. There's also some safety features built in. Let's uh, picture this hose being strung out and a guy using them and you've got 185 CFM of air coming through and then suddenly that hose gets split. We all know what would happen. This thing would start to whip around and could actually hurt somebody. So this particular vehicle is equipped with what they call an OSHA valve. It senses the free flow of air and immediately stops the flow as soon as that something like that would happen, eliminating a catastrophic event. Nobody would get hurt. So here's the great part about this truck. Look at the bed space. It's completely wide open. There is no space taken or weight consumed by some big, gigantic, diesel-driven compressor. It's all under the truck. Your hitch is wide open. You got all this power equipment and all this storage capability and all this payload completely available to you. Some components that go along with making the compressor operate properly is this cooler. This actually monitors the uh, temperature of the rotary screw air compressor. All compressors run at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This maintains that, that system pressure or that system temperature all the time. So the only other component that needs to be mounted above the truck is this small air cleaner here. This is where the intake comes in for the air to supply fresh air into the air compressor. And that's it for space as far as requirements to get this kind of air under your vehicle, very minimal. Um, definitely a lot better than putting a gigantic cross mount compressor on your truck. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and just fire it up and let you see how this thing works. So you can see the compressor's up and running, ready to deliver 185 cubic feet per minute. We've also got a 10,000 watt generator. All you have to do is push this button. And now you've got 10,000 watts of electricity. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about air compressor technology that goes under the truck instead of on top. Uh, if you need more information about that, go to bossair.com. Uh, and if you need a new Ram truck, 
come see my friend Logan Sakamoto here at Huntington Beach Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and visit the fleet department. Thank you very much.